All right, guys, I know this is going up as a live, but I'm gonna put it on my YouTube channel afterwards so everyone can watch it. I wanna know you, what are your favorite pairs of shoes? If you're not a sneakerhead, this video might not be of interest to you whatsoever. But if you like sneakers like me, I wanna know what you think about the shoe collection, which pieces I'm missing, which pieces you would add, and then uh, give this video a like and a thumbs up because it's been requested a lot. Hey, Steve, we want to see your shoe game. So I started loving basketball shoes growing up, but my parents never got me cool basketball shoes. I was that kid that always had to wear Payless or hand-me-downs from my older brother. I think the coolest pair of kicks I ever had growing up were a pair of the Jason Kids. Um, they had like the ink, the oil, the oil can spot on them. They were growing up, the Jordans, my neighbors had the Jordans always, and I was always... Like, ah, oh, one day, one day, I wanna have some some real deal basketball shoes. And so when I was in college, I actually bought my first pair. Since then, I've been buying and selling shoes. Um, nothing like serious, I don't you know make any money off of it, but it's for me, I have fun with it. If I don't like a pair of shoes, typically, you know, I've sent probably like, or I've sold probably five pairs of shoes. Um, so you could, I can't really call myself a sneaker head. Like I'm not, I'm not out there on every drop trying to pick them up and then turn around and sell them. That's not me. I try to wear all of my shoes because there's a lot of people out there that don't wear shoes. Every single pair of shoes that you guys see today, I've worn at least once, except for two pairs that I don't know if I'm gonna keep or not. So, that being said, we can jump into it. First of all, this is this is the sneaker and Gymshark room. So you see the Gymshark clothing. This is all we got in here. Um, I gotta take this stuff. I'm doing some giveaways with that at the gym, but Let's just jump right into it. First off, I know I'm gonna get asked this a bunch. I got these containers from the container store. I'm not making that up. Literally, it was called that. I got them in Vegas. And they work really well for keeping your shoes um, kind of clean and organized. So one of the things that can harm shoes, now if you're looking to start your own shoe collection, make sure you clean your shoes. I just use that. I'm not sponsored. This video is not sponsored by anyone. Um, so you have a good shoe cleaner you don't store shoes in that have direct sunlight. So this room typically, <laughs> I close these curtains, and typically this room is somewhat dark because it will yellow a lot of your shoes over time. And while that looks cool and vintage on some shoes, other shoes are just absolutely ruined. So I keep shoes in non-direct sunlight. But jumping into the shoes, I like a variety of fits, styles, brands, and so I have some shoes here that are probably crazier than what you guys might be doing, but then I also have some classic shoes. So the first row that we have here, all Jordans. Got a lot of ones. I just love the way that the ones look. You can dress them up, and I think the ones, just the profile of them, I like the high tops. The profile of them, to me, I don't wanna say the best Jordan with, with like if I wear sweats, these are gonna look great. You can wear them with jeans, Typically, the ones that I wear with jeans are the Turbo Greens, but these are uh, the these released in Europe only when I was over there, so I picked them up, um, and they're a fun shoe. Kind of have you know remnants of that classic Chicago look, but obviously not the same color red. Um, I think these are the track and field reds or the track reds, so one of my favorites because it's 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 subtle still. Uh, I think these are All Stars, um, the Jordan All Star. I can't even. You know, I'm not gonna know. I'm not gonna remember every single detail about every single shoe, but also the one silhouette. This one I think looks great. Again, dressed up. Um, probably my favorite ones and the ones that I wear the most often are gonna be my Turbo Greens. And I almost didn't buy these, but I'm so glad I did just because the color on them. I love how it looks already kind of worn. Um, it's just these shoes to me were definitely an underrated shoe. So. Moving on past that, my all-time favorite Jordans, like on the court Jordans, the Jordans that I grew up remembering and just being like, oh, those are it. If, if I could have one pair of Jordans, it would be, if you said, Steve, you can only have one pair of Jordans, it's gonna be the Breads, the 11s. These have been worn twice now. Um, I wore them last Sunday for Last Dance, the Michael Jordan documentary. Um, yes, I do think Michael Jordan is the GOAT, mostly, like when I say the GOAT, do I think he's better than any player like fundamentally 
or you know Kevin Durant to me probably the ultimate scorer like he's seven foot he can shoot over anyone I think he's amazing I think LeBron James all around is amazing but what makes Jordan the GOAT is he was like the first person to do the shoes culture basketball culture was at an all-time high the dream team in the Olympics like everyone in the world knew Michael Jordan everyone loved Michael Jordan well maybe if you if you were like a jazz fan you weren't a Michael Jordan fan, but most people just love Michael Jordan. He could he could do things with the media, you know. He would not answer their questions. He could be very firm, but he did it in a way that like just he he just exuded what it meant to be a champion and what it meant to be really a role. Did that on a mainstream level that had never been done before. Then Space Jam, then movies. He did things that again people are just now trying to recreate. I know Space Jam Two is coming out. No hate on any of these other basketball players out there. Kobe, LeBron, all top five players. Kevin Durant. All these guys are great guys, but none of it happens without Michael Jordan. So the reason 23 is the most worn jersey number, if the, the best player on the team wears 23, it's because of Michael Jordan. The reason LeBron James wears 23 is because of Michael Jordan. So you're not going to convince me that Michael Jordan's not the GOAT. Uh, I'm not saying those other guys aren't great. MJ's just the GOAT. Um, speaking of GOATs, these, you know, if I can only have one pair of shoes, it would be the breads. But if I think... I'm going to say the sexiest pair of Jordans, that's going to go to the Gammas. The 11 Gammas right here. The Gamma Blue on this, absolutely. I just love you. Like, if this if this shoe, if this shoe, like, if it was an outfit, it would be a tuxedo. Like, the, the shininess, it's just, I love this shoe so much. Um, next up, boom, the fours. Pretty cool looking. Like, I, I do think that they're cool. Um, just a staple, you know, you have the elephant print again. You can't can't go wrong with this. So um, next up the pair of shoes that are the newest to the family and they are the Jordan off-whites. Oh, I'm dropping them They have not been worn yet You can see I got them off of goat actually and I did pay retail for this I was up late one night and I had a moment of weakness and bought these retail. And that's why I'm like, I'm having buyer's remorse because I don't know if I'll wear them that much. So these have not been worn. You can see they have not been worn. I'm thinking about selling them. Um, got the box, the original, obviously. Just dropping everything right now. <laughs> and this is a lie too. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, so these are the Jordan 5s and you can see in the box. So if you guys, guys want to buy these off me, you can buy them off. I spent like 800 and some bucks on these. I think it was like 820. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I also bought these at about the same time with the Adidas Pharrell's. So we'll get to the Adidas in a, in a minute. But these also have not been worn yet. Um, last pair of Jordans that I'm also actually selling. The Rose Gold, the 12 Obsidians actually. So these are the, the fours in uh, retro. What is it called? Retro Premium, and this is, I think it's, I think it's Obsidian, right? Yeah, Obsidian. Size 12. I'm out of 12. These were actually a gift, so I feel really bad selling them, but I'm going to get a pair of shoes that I'm going to also think of you to the person who gave me these, so I appreciate that. The rose gold on them. These have been worn around an expo before. That's the only time, though. Um, the next row, the Jordans actually could fit in the Jordan row or in this next row because these are the off-whites. We have the Vapor Maxes, the white ones. One of my favorite pairs. Definitely a top three pair of shoes that I own. I just love the profile of the Vapor Max. It obviously was such a popular shoe. And the off-white, just the detail in the off-white. That's what I love about off-whites. Just hard to not notice a pair of off-whites. They always just stand out. So next up, got the foams, the off-whites. Uh, the Nike Zoom Fly, so pretty dope. Not my favorite pair. They don't move on my feet very well, so they weren't as cool as I thought they were gonna be, to be honest. Um, next pair, gonna be the Blazers. Love me the off-white Blazers. This shoe I really think did really well for Nike, so much so that they started doing Blazers that obviously weren't off-white, off started doing more of them. They'd always had Blazers, but then they started doing more. I look kind of funky with these. With one orange lace, one black lace, and I always keep the tag on my off whites. Every time I wear my off whites, people are like, "You know you got your tag on." I'm like, "Yeah, bro, chill. I know." 
Uh, the next pair of shoe I actually created to look like an off-white. I love my white one so much. There is black off-white Vapor Maxes, but I went out and I bought the white shoelaces. They say shoelace on them, so people always think these are off-whites. I just like the way they look with, with the white laces in there matching the white. And I wear these a lot to train in. Don't really recommend training in Vapor Maxes, but next up, kind of a uh, unique... Converse piece now Converse are a staple. I got I got tons of Converse. It's got a lot of con they're a staple I think they look great with jeans, you know I think that they're just a classic silhouette the Comme des Garçons. I don't know if I'm saying that Comme des Garçons um, the French French collab there. So love that Next one the animal prints these these are top three pair of shoe shoe for me. I know they're loud but I own these before Tiger King came out, just to let you guys know. So, um, just something about this shoe I saw, immediately fell in love with. And I'm not going to lie, every time I wear them, I get comments on them because people just love them. They're fun, fun. Probably the most fun pair of shoe I own. Um, next up is actually going to be the Adidas Row. The Adidas Row, we got the Yeezys, the Bread Yeezys. Then we have uh, the Semi Frozens. And then we got the Clay. I think out of all three of these, eh, probably the first ones are my favorite, then these. Then I have the 750s. These were a gift for me actually when I went to China. A guy that used to work for Adidas hooked me up with them. And then the last pair, which I thought I would hate, but I actually love. Um, I had some credit with GOAT and got these. Probably wouldn't recommend these to a lot of people, but when I wear them, they're just funky. They're unlike anything else I own. They're super blocky, the dad shoe. Could say they're ugly. They're definitely not pretty, but I like them. Uh, next up, shoe that I never really wear. I thought I would wear these all the time when I ordered them. They're cool looking, but they're just not very functional. The tongue's super weird. They're hard to get on. I got a fat foot. So what are they? The Alexander McQueen, McQueens? There they are. I'm not even sure if that was the collab with them. I like getting shoes that you just can't go into Foot Locker and get. Kind of try to, try to set yourself apart a little bit. Um... Next up are just going to be shoes that go great with jeans or more dress-up sneakers. So the Common Projects, Biggest Loser actually purchased these as my finale footwear. And I was like, Common Projects? These are dope. Got that nice suede, very clean, very classy. Can never go wrong with Common Projects. And they are, they're an expensive shoe that, again, you can get things that look like Common Project. Um, they would pair well with like, you know, I, I wore these with some suit pants and a blazer. Um, probably my second funkiest shoe. If we, if we had these being my first, we're going to say these new balances. Um, I think what, what model is this? Is this the 997? The 997. This is a great, I have another pair of new balance and the 997s over the four, the five, seven fours all day. Just the, just the, I don't know, just the silhouette. It's a classic shoe. Everyone's seen New Balances. These are the Mallard Ducks. So the coolest part about it, you have kind of that O, that ode. Do I, is that how you say that? The O D E. That an ode, like paying homage to duck, duck hunting. I don't even know if it's duck hunting or the duck. It's supposedly after a Mallard Duck. So a Mallard Duck, you know, the green head, the beak, the web feet, the orange web feet, and the camo. I guess that's the hunter part. So. Um, love these shoes, just wore them actually the other day, and I was just like, oh, I forgot I had those, I love them. Um, these are my newest pair of Converse, and I forgot to actually to collab with them, but I love the details in them. Remind me a little bit of my blazers, the off-white, kind of the different stitch patterns in there making it white. Um, probably my favorite pair of Converse, even over the Combi Garçon. Um, I just, I love the way they look. So, and the biggest thing too is that double sole. So the All-Stars are the ones you want to go with with the Chuck Taylor, the Chuck Taylor All-Stars. Next up, everyone was asking me about these the other day. They are my Vans NASA collab. So cool, has the sticker in the back. These are a very fun shoe as well. Um, they're white. I live in a place with, that has a lot of red sand, so it's kind of hard to wear these. They're actually great, you can dress them up, dress them down. They're one of my favorite shoes. And again, very off-white, if you see, the off-white, the tongue, kind of looks industrial, it's like a sample shoe. This has that same feature. 
it's, it's kind of fun. Um, at first, I wasn't about it, but now it's, it's something that's totally different. At first, I was like, this looks like it's handmade. That's the point. Um, next up, I actually bought these when I was in New York. I do not know the name of them. I wish I did. I, I love, obviously, classic shoe here. I should know the name of these. Classic Nike, but I love the color on these. So they're like that pinkish purple. So one of my favorites. The next up, the dad shoe to me, the gum sole bottoms. These were a J. Crew Nike collaboration, so you can only get them at J. Crew. So it's that that navy blue, and it's just a very very clean shoe again that you can dress up or dress down. Um, next up, we're gonna be a little bit quicker. I got the sales. These were these are actually I think some people you either love or you hate these. They're wild. You know they have a lot of reacts have a lot of different things going on. Um, but I actually, I love both of these pair. I wear them a lot. The sale, I think, um, cool because they're both are very see-through, actually. Next up, the Pegasus. Gotta love these. Actually, maybe these aren't the Pegasus. I thought they were. Nike Zoom X. You guys help me out here. I told you, I'm not really a sneaker head, um, but I do love shoes. Got these so long ago at Nordstrom's Nike. The leather, I just love the way that looks because it looks just, like you couldn't even tell what it is. It's just very clean. You could wear it with basics. You could wear it with everything, black and white sole. Um, next up, this pair of shoes I bought, and I didn't even know how popular they were going to be. These are the, the, I thought they were the Air Chuckas is what they were called. Oh, yeah, Flying at Chucka. So one of the lightest pairs of shoes I could ever find. Next up was my first Flying at shoe ever. The Fruity Pebbles, so the I call them the Flyknit Fruity Pebbles. Um, this was before Flyknits really took off. Absolutely love the shoe. To this day, I need to clean them still, but to this day, I wear these and I smile because I love how it's black up here. I wear black socks mostly. And when you have a black upper part, when you wear black socks. Um, next row is actually all Flyknit. So I went through like a big Flyknit phase just because they're extremely comfy. I think they look really good, and they came in so many different colorways. They were so much fun. Underneath that, we got the Boost. So the Adidas, we got the Boost here, the all black, the white with, I would call that almost burnt orange or some kind of red. Love this pair of shoes. I don't wear this often enough. It's kind of hard to match, to be honest. But um, the next pair of Boost are actually probably my favorite. These get worn every single 4th of July. It was an undefeated collab with Adidas. Got the American flag sticker on the back. And I love, not the same color. I love having a blue and white pair on. And I love that they came like that. It's not like I went out and bought two pairs of shoes. Um, next up, more Adidas. My favorite pair again, reminds me of that whole duck hunting. You have that orange, the bright orange, the neon orange with the camo. Um, real quick, underneath that, we got our Nike Airs. We got our Air Maxes. Boom. Air Max row, basically all the way down. The Flyknit Air Maxes are going to be my favorite. Obviously, you guys know I love my camo. So this pair is camo. The blue pair is the first pair I ever owned. And then I also have some Fear of Gods that aren't Air Maxes, but they are Air. The Fear of God, Nike Air. I'm not exactly sure. This is a shoe that is great for traveling. That shoe. And that's pretty much it. You know, I got some more. The City Socks. Oh, yeah. We can't forget this row. So, again, then it's another Adidas row. I have to have my shoes in order of the brands they're in. So, Stan Smith's classic. I think he's been worn twice. You always need a fresh pair of Stan Smith's. That, that you can dress them up, dress them down. Go great with jeans, sweats. You could even wear them with, like, a casual suit. Um, and then, obviously, just more... Adidas that I've worn in the past, I'd say three years or so. Coming over here, it's our Converse collection. Can't go wrong with my Vans. You need a classic pair. And then my basketball shoes. I told you guys, I wasn't hating on these other guys. I got my KDs. I was a big KD fan, actually, before he went to Golden State. And then my Kobe's. Love these shoes. Um, played basketball and then both. Obviously, great ankle support in there. So that pretty much... Is it for, I would say these are my sneaker collections. I got another closet that's more like boots and, I don't know, more dress up stuff. But I'm a sneaker, sneaker guy at heart. I've worn sneakers since I was a kid and they're just my favorite. So let me know in the comments below which pair 
is your favorite, and then also maybe your top three shoes of all time. If I could add to this collection the off-white Chicago's, the Jordans, the, the Jordan 1's, the Chicago off-whites, my favorite pair of shoes. Second off-white one would be probably the UNC's. I really want to get one of those. Um, and then besides that, I actually had ordered the Dior Opaques. Um, love those shoes, but just not going to spend $600. Most of these shoes I got at retail, except for, well, most of them I actually did when I had a GOAT collab. So I have a hard time spending crazy amounts of money on shoes, but if there's something that I absolutely love, I will get. Um, so I'm probably needing probably one of those off-whites one day. I don't know when, if I'll ever, ever do it. And then if there's other one other shoe maybe that I don't have in here that I would like. The new Pippins. The, the Kith. Um, I don't even know the name of them, but they're absolutely fire. So, Anyhow, hopefully you guys like my shoe collection. Let me know what you guys think I should add in the comments below. We'll see you next time.